Today we'll take a look at Mark chapter 6. And I want to draw your attention to one specific part of it, but all kinds of things are going on in Mark 6. You should read it. Jesus is rejected in Nazareth. He sends out his 12 to do one of their first missionary. He, he doesn't go to prison, but his cousin John the Baptist is beheaded in Mark chapter 6. But one of the highlights, I think, if you could call it that, in the whole chapter is this feeding of the 5,000. He's got this huge crowd and, and it's getting late, the sun is setting, and one of the disciples says, we need to send these people away, we can't feed them, we don't have the money, it's, it's impossible. And finally, something happens. One little boy who has a lunch, some loaves and fishes, is brought to Jesus and Jesus has everyone sit down. And he takes the fish, he takes the loaves, he breaks them, he multiplies them, and over 5,000 people are fed. It's a powerful story. And of course, one of the, I think, things we glean from that story is that we always, I think, at many times feel insufficient. How can I do all this that God's asked me to do? How can I fill this or take care of that? And this story to me says, just give the Lord what you do have and watch what he can do with it. Give him your resources, give him your fish and loaves, give him your life, and Jesus can take it, he can break it, he can multiply it, and he can probably do more with what you'll put in his hands than you think he ever could. With some loaves and fish, he fed a multitude. He fed thousands. Here's what I believe God is saying to us. Take what's in your hand and give it to Jesus and watch what he will do. He does the miracle. You just trust him.